Hey everybody, so I got a question today about making a scrollable text frame. I just want to go through that now. On my table of contents page in my example, some people call this the masthead. This is not really the masthead, but this is the masthead in most magazines and newspapers. This is the area that explains all the contributors and stuff to the, to the magazine. Okay, so this is a single text frame right here. If I click on it, you can see that's one text frame. So in addition to this panel, what I want to do is I want to put a frame over it. So I'm going to click my rectangular frame tool and I want to make the frame a little bit wider, especially to the right side of the image and about a third of the height of the article. I could make it smaller, longer, in fact, let me just constrain this to that first paragraph, so that's the only thing showing right now. So now, I have a frame here. You see that moved my text down. I need to change my wrapping so that the text stays behind there. So I have my frame, I have my text, and I want to put this text frame into here. So I'm going to select the text frame. So I've selected that frame, and I want to cut it. I'm going to go Command X to cut that frame out. Then I'm going to click on the frame tool and I have a shortcut for it, but I want to do a paste into. So that's Command Option V, uh, or I could just click here. And now that's pasted that text frame inside this frame. And if I click in here, you can actually see that it's all still there. I can move that up and you can see that I have that in the right place. I'm not sure if I have enough room on the right side, so I'm going to move it to the left a little bit, not too much. Move it down. Let's see if I can go over just a bit by using my arrow. There we go. I want to leave enough room on the right hand side for the scroll bar. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm going to have I'm going to select my my window here. I'm going to go to Windows and Overlays and Scrollable Frame. And in the scrollable frame options, I'm going to say frame direction. Uh, I want to make this a vertical. I could have it so that it pans horizontal and vertical, but for this, it's just a vertical scroll. And we don't want to hide the scroll indicator because we want people to be able to see it. We used document position here. All right, so we got all of that selected. It's going to scroll in the vertical. We're not hiding the scroll bar. We're going to use the document position of this placement where I actually just placed it to put it in there and we're going to keep it a vector. Okay, so I, I found this workaround. So once we're at this point where we added this whole text frame into this outer frame, now we have to do a couple of other things to get it ready to work. And we don't really need the, the extension that some videos are recommending. So let's take a look at what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I'm going to right click in this frame here and I'm going to come down to Object Export Options and that's going to come up under Alt Text. If we go to EPUB and HTML, I want you to add this uh, word subchapter into EPUB type and then everything else can stay the same. Click Done. And then after that, the next step is to open a text editor and we want to create some more CSS to work in here because the CSS that's generated for an EPUB doesn't seem to work properly when you do the overlays. So here's what you need to do. Uh, I'm working on a Mac. I'm going to use text edit. If you are on a PC, you would need to use something like WordPad or Notepad, something that's a plain text editor. And in order to use this properly, I want to make sure we do a couple of things. Okay, so this is for text edit only. What I want to do is I want to go to settings and in here, you have two tabs, New Document and Save. You want to make sure this is set to plain text, not rich text. This is for any coding, if you're doing HTML or CSS or anything like that. But you don't need, really need to change anything else on this page. Just make sure that's selecting plain text. And then Open and Save. We're not writing HTML, but if you were changing the HTML on the page, you want to make sure you have this checked. And make sure this is unchecked where it says when saving a file add .txt extension to plain text files. So now what we want to do is we want to write some new CSS. Okay, I had some trouble with the CSS that I just typed. So I, what I did was I copied and pasted it just to make sure I have it all typed correctly. And let's save it now and see how it works. We're going to go file, save, and I want to put it in my you can crusher folder which is where the file is going to go to. I'm going to call it CSS test dot CSS. 
and I'm going to click Save Now, and hopefully that's saved correctly. So now, when I save my file, so I'm going to go to File, Export, Fix Layout EPUB, let's put that in Ecan Crusher so it's in the same folder, and I'm putting it in Ecan Crusher so that if I do need to open the CSS, I can. I'm going to click Save, Replace, over here in CSS, I'm going to go Add Style Sheet, and I'm going to look for the one I just created. I'm going to go to Crusher, and there it is, CSS test.css. Click open. Um, so now that extra CSS is going to be added, and now I'm going to click OK. And it should make my EPUB. In my computer, I have it set to open up in digital editions and in Apple iBooks, so that I can look at both to see how they come out. There's a link out of date, and there's a missing font. I don't care about that right this minute because we're just testing the scrolling text. So now when it opens in Digital Editions first, I can go to my Table of Contents page. Now you can see I can see that scroll bar, and I can make the text scroll. And I was able to do that without adding any extensions to my Adobe InDesign. All right, so it works in Adobe Digital Editions to have a scrolling text box, and here it is in iBooks. So if I go to the next page, you can see already that I have the scroll bar there, and my masthead is now taking up much less space, freeing up some empty space there that I could either include something else or I can just have additional white space on my page. So that's how you make a scrollable text box. Hopefully this is helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to put the code that you need to copy and paste again into the announcements. All right. I think that's a much easier hack and solution than it would be to deal with the extensions that may or may not work where, where this code seems to work pretty consistently either for Mac and for PC and my understanding is it works on an iPad as well. All right. So that's it for today. Hopefully this was helpful.